Hi, Maria Watkins here from the music business Made Easy. On Thursday, October 11th, President Trump signed the new Music Modernization Act into law. The law aims to modernize copyright-related issues for music and audio recordings due to new forms of technology like digital streaming. The bill received unanimous support from both the Republican and Democratic lawmakers. An historic moment indeed. The RNG Hatch, Bob Goodlack Music Modernization Act, or MMA for short, was co-sponsored by Republican Representative Doug Collins from Georgia and the Democratic Representative Hakeem Jeffries from New York. The Music Modernization Act is a consolidation of three separate bills. Here's an overview of what it does. One of the changes will be the elimination of the notice of intent that songwriters and publishers receive for the uses of their work. Instead, the Music Modernization Act will fund a mechanical licensing collective that will grant streaming services a blanket mechanical license for interactive streaming or digital downloads of musical works. The bill seeks to streamline the process to pay rights holders for their songs played on streaming services. The bill seeks to find a better, more efficient way to match songwriters and publishers with recordings. Their goal is to set up a national database that will include all owners of a copyright. The bill also seeks to change the process for determining statutory rates set by the Copyright Royalty Board. Rates for performing rights organizations under the Music Modernization Act will use a will approach for rate-setting disputes. This will approach ensures that the PROs, as well as licensees, will be able to go before any judge in the Southern District of New York versus a single judge, as it stands today, on a rotating basis. It will ensure that the judge will find the facts afresh for each rate case based on the record in that particular case without impressions derived from prior cases. The Music Modernization Act repeals Section 114I from the law, it moves the industry to a fairer system under which performing rights organizations and songwriters have the opportunity to present evidence about other facets of the music industry to judges for their consideration. This repeal creates the opportunity for songwriters to obtain fairer rates for the public performances of their musical works. Currently, Section 114I of the Copyright Act forbids the federal rate courts overseeing the consent decrees that govern the two major PROs from considering certain evidence when setting performance royalty rates for songwriters and composers. As a result, the playing field is uneven at the expense of songwriters. The Music Modernization Act repeals this Section 114I, moving the industry to a much more fair system. The Music Modernization Act also includes the allocation for the Music Producers Act. For the first time in music history, royalty payments will include producers, mix engineers, and sound engineers. Sound Exchange has been asked to allocate these payments. The Music Modernization Act includes songs written prior to 1972. This means that songwriters and performers who wrote and performed songs prior to 1972 will now receive payments for those works. I have several quotes from music industry executives as they state their feelings concerning the new passage of this law. I'll read a couple of them. As we celebrate the harmony and unity that got us here, we applaud the efforts of the thousands of performers, songwriters, and studio professionals who rallied for historic change to ensure all music creators are compensated fairly when their work is used by digital and satellite music services. He also said in a statement, We thank the members of Congress who championed this issue throughout the past several years to bring music law into the 21st century. With today's signing of the Music Modernization Act, we mark a historic accomplishment, but more importantly, we mark what it means. For creators, it means getting paid more fairly. For those who recorded music before 1972, it means assurance you'll get paid for your work. For songwriters, publishers, and producers, it means making the digital economy work for you. Sound Exchange's 170,000-member community was a driving force in getting the bill from the halls of Congress to the White House. When the music industry speaks with one voice, Congress listens. I urge you to stay active because there is much more work to be done before we can truly say all music creators are treated fairly.
If you would like to hear from more music executives, head on over to themusicbusinessmadeeasy.com where you can read more quotes there on the blog. Be sure to check out other music business tips from the Music Business Made Easy. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Take care and have a great day.